Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel today. Today we are going to see the course process problem D that is very different. Okay, very different. So, beta is a one person who has an AI of n integers and his brother Vasya become envious and decided to make his own array of n integers. Like, he is mad. So, to do this, he found m integers. Now, he wants to choose some n integers of them and arrange them in a certain order. To obtain an array ci of length n. Okay, so to avoid being similar to his brother, Vasya wants to make his array as different as possible from Petra, Petya's array. So specifically, he wants to total different d to be large as large as possible. Okay, so we need to take the difference of each element and the difference would be large as possible. That is the goal. So let's see some example for understanding purpose. So in the first case we have 6, 1, 2 and 4 and we have these many integers here. So what we can think of like keeping for 6 what we can do? We can keep 1, for 1 we can choose 7, for 2 we can choose 5, for 4 we can to take uh, choose 2. So what is the difference? 5, 6, 3 and 2. So answer is 11 and 3, 14 to 16. That is the answer. And here you can't, in the second example, you can't do anything. That is like we don't have any choice. And in this case, what you can do, like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. What you can do? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So 4, 2, 4 and 2, 6, 0 and 2, 8 and 4, 12. Okay, so this is your answer. And see here. Yeah, 12. Okay, you got it. So how can you solve this problem? So our approach should be like, we can choose any integers and we can arrange in any order. So what you can do? You need to do just sorting because we can take any number of integers or any integers at any place. So we can directly go for sorting. So what we need to do? Sort this array. The first one. We'll sort this array. So 1, 2, 4, 6 in this order. And for the another array, sort in the reverse order because we need to maximize the difference. So 7, 5, 3, 3, 2, and 1. And if you try to see, if you try to see here, so we can directly take, like, if we think like, we can directly take the differences from the elements then it's, it will not be a right answer why you can see here 7 minus 1 6 that is good 5 2 3 that is good 4 this is like this is something wrong we can take 4 and 2 and 6 and 3 that will be 3 so your answer will be 3 3 6 7 13 but our answer what is the next answer possible it is 16 so like we are doing something wrong here. So what we need to do? We need to make a mapping such that so that we can maximize the difference. So what we can do? We will start from both sides. From initial and ending. So like take the pair 1, 7 and 6, 1. Take the difference of both of them. So what is the difference? So 1, 7 or 6, 1. What is the maximum possible? So 1, 7, it is giving 6 and it is giving 5. So we will consider this. So in answer we can add 6. And we will delete this. We will delete this. Now we are considering this and this again. So 2 and 5, that will give 3. And this will give 6, uh, sorry 5. So we will add 5 here and remove this one. Okay. 
and now we have 2 and 5 and 4 and 3 sorry 4 and 2 so that is giving 2 and that is giving 3 so we'll take this one so we'll add that 3 now we have 4 and 3 and 4 and 2 so 4 and 2 will benefit us so we'll take from end this time 4 and 2 so in this way he can get our answer so 6 5 3 and 2 okay so that is 6 5 11 3 14 and 2 16 you got it that is a simple solution for this for this um, for this question so let's discuss the uh, code how can we code it let's discuss the code how can we implement it okay so in this we have uh, like we will take input and an m then declare the vector like this and just take the vectors a and b input of a and b and then what we need to do sort a sort b and reverse b vector like we have seen this in the example and then you need a result variable to store the result and results can be large so we are using long long here and we are having two pointers i and j so i is pointing to a and b is point j is pointing to b from the starting okay and the count like we need to make only n iterations that's it like because we need n integers and there is only two conditions if and else so like we can either make a while loop or we can make a for loop from for i 0 to n we can make that everything is possible so what we need to do as we have discussed like we need to take the first value the starting initial value and the last value if that is greater we'll add the initial value and update the pointers i and j if not if that is not the case then what we will do we'll update our <coughs> we'll delete our like uh, add the answer from the last and delete the last two values from a and b the one one value from a and b why we are doing that like we can also update our pointers uh, like we can consider two more pointers like uh, last of i and last of j type of pen pointers and we can decrease those but they are the same time complexity so we don't want to do that we can delete so that is our approach to solve this question hope you understood this solution like this video subscribe the channel and keep coding